How to fix kernel mode heap corruption error on Windows 11. Method 1. Run the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. The Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool will test your RAM for faults. If the scan detects problems, you will need to replace some or all of your RAM modules. If your PC does not run long enough to initiate the scan, try booting it in safe mode or safe mode with networking. We recommend booting into safe mode for all methods in this video. Open the Windows Start menu and click the Power button. Hold down the Shift key and click Restart. Select Troubleshoot. Select Advanced Options. Select Startup Settings. Click Restart. Press the 5 or F5 key to boot your PC into safe mode with networking. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type mdshed.exe in Run and click OK. In the Windows Memory Diagnostic window, click Restart now and check for problems. Your PC will restart and diagnose the memory. Once the diagnostic process is complete, your PC will boot up normally. Once your PC boots up, open the diagnosis report. The report will let you know if your memory is faulty. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type event VWR in Run and click OK. In Event Viewer, navigate to Windows Logs, System. In the right pane, click Filter Current Log. Open the Event Sources drop-down menu and select Memory Diagnostics Results. Click OK. Double-click the results log. If there are memory errors, consider replacing your RAM. If there are no memory errors, proceed with the following fixes. Before moving to the next step, we would like to recommend Combo Cleaner. To keep your device running smoothly, avoid malware infections, and free up disk space, we recommend using Combo Cleaner. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. Download and install it today at ComboCleaner.com. Grab our limited deal for Windows and Mac users. Use the coupon code PCRISK30 for 30% off at the checkout. Method 2. Run Driver Verifier Manager. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type PowerShell in Run and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to open PowerShell as an administrator. In PowerShell, type Verifier and press Enter. Tick Create Standard Settings and click Next. Then, tick automatically select all drivers installed on this computer and click Finish. Click OK and restart your PC.
Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type PowerShell in Run and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to open PowerShell as an administrator. In PowerShell, type Verifier Query Settings and press Enter. This command will show you the current driver verifier settings. You will need to use your computer with driver verifier enabled and wait until it crashes again with the kernel mode heap corruption error. Windows will save the crash information as a DMP file. After a crash, type in verifier reset and press enter. This command will disable the driver verifier. Close PowerShell and restart your PC. To determine which driver causes the error, download Blue Screen View to view DMP files. Open your web browser and go to the Blue Screen View download page. You can copy the link from our article linked in the video description. Click Download Blue Screen View with full install uninstall support. Run the blue screen view setup executable once it's downloaded. Follow the installation wizard guide. Select the most recent file and scroll horizontally to the caused by driver column. The file name will allow you to identify which driver caused the crash. Then, proceed to reinstall, update, or roll back the corrupted driver. Method 3. Update device drivers. Right-click the Windows Start button and select Device Manager. Go through the devices list and look for devices with a yellow triangle and an exclamation mark. This symbol indicates an issue with the device. Right-click the device and click Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Drivers. Windows will automatically install the best driver available on your computer. Alternatively, select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Click Browse and select a driver downloaded from the device vendor's website. You can also download the graphics card drivers for Intel, NVIDIA, and AMD manually from their respective websites. Alternatively, click Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select a compatible driver from the drivers list and click Next. Click close after installing the driver and restart your PC. However, while likely, your GPU may not be the exact cause for the error, so make sure to update as many device drivers as possible using Device Manager. Method 4. Run the deployment image in servicing management and system file checker scans. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type in CMD in Run and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to open command prompt as an administrator. Type DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health and press Enter. Type SFC slash scan now and press enter. Close the command prompt and restart your PC.
Method 5. Increase page file size. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. Type sysdm.cpl in run and click OK. In System Properties, select the Advanced tab. Under Performance, click Settings. In Performance Options, select the Advanced tab. In the Virtual Memory section, click Change. Unmark the Automatically Manage Paging for File Size for All Drives checkbox. In the Paging File Size for each drive section, select the Custom Size option. Microsoft recommends setting the initial size of virtual memory at 1.5 times and the maximum size of no more than 3 times the total available RAM on the computer. Therefore, if you have 2 GB of RAM, the virtual memory can be set to a maximum of 6 GB. Set the initial size and the maximum size. These settings will define the initial size of disk space to be allocated for virtual memory. Click Set to save the initial and maximum virtual memory size. Click OK to close the virtual memory window. Click OK when prompted. Click Apply and click OK. Click OK in System Properties. Click Restart now when prompted. Hopefully, this video provided you with the information you were looking for. If you're using a Windows computer, we suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner's real-time anti-malware scanner will stop malware from gaining a foothold on your PC. Anti-ransomware protection will protect your most precious files against being encrypted by ransomware. Combo Cleaner's web browsing protection will block scams, malicious websites, and downloads. Also, Combo Cleaner's Duplicate File Finder and Big Files Finder will help you clean up your PC and save gigabytes of valuable disk space. Don't let malware wreak havoc on your computer. Download Combo Cleaner today. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel.